my name is Amit Tandon. I'm a comprehensive ophthalmologist. My primary focus is cataract surgery and laser refractive surgery. Uh, we are very proud of our new facility here at the OSU Eye and Ear Institute. Uh, it has wonderful new technology that really helped us take care of patients in a state-of-the-art fashion. Uh, but the thing I'm the most proud of for our institute is all the coworkers. People are really very friendly, very helpful, and every single person here really wants to make it a good experience for our patients. I'd say the driving force for me uh, to become a physician uh, was the example that my parents set. Uh, my mom and my dad are both wonderful, really caring people. Uh, they're the kind of people that really take care of their friends and their family and the perfect type of neighbor you'd like to have. You know, seeing the way they treat other people and how important it is, or they feel it is, to help other people made me want to help other people too. And I thought to myself, what better way to help people than to be a physician? I decided to uh, be an ophthalmologist when I was a third year medical student. Uh, I remember it distinctly. Uh, it was my third year rotation and I saw a cataract surgery for the first time. Uh, when I saw it, I thought it was so amazing and precise that someone could operate on something that was the size of a, a golf ball and have such amazing outcomes. The truly amazing thing though was the day after when I saw that same patient with the operating surgeon and the patient could see it again. The patient was so grateful and so happy, I thought to myself, this is something I can definitely do the rest of my life. Uh, so I went to college here at the High State University. Uh, from college, I went to the University of Cincinnati to get my medical degree. There I stayed for an additional year for an internship. And from uh, Cincinnati, I went to Ann Arbor, Michigan and did my ophthalmology residency there for three years. And my final year there, I was selected as chief resident. Uh, I really think that uh, my ophthalmology training in Michigan was really fantastic. Uh, I'm forever indebted to the physicians there that taught me. Uh, and they set an example for me to try and teach people here similar how I was taught. Even though I'm very, very fond of Michigan, uh, come football Saturdays, I'm still a Buckeye. I decided to go into academic medicine um, because I want to give back to the community even a little bit more. I think all physicians uh, do a great job because they're able to help people. But I thought to myself, what better way to help people than not only to help my patients, but to teach the next generation how to also take care of their patients. I think by doing that, my kids will be taken care of, and my kids' kids will be taken care of, and so on. And I can't think of a better legacy to leave than that. Uh, for me, my greatest sense of accomplishment uh, just comes in my everyday interactions with patients. You know, every single time I'm able to help a patient see or allow them to see better than they think they can see, uh, it really makes a difference and makes me feel great. You know, I don't need to cure cancer, I don't need to stomp out blindness, but if I can help every one of my patients see and see a little bit better, I can go home, have a good night's sleep, and feel like I did a good thing that day.